Hey, how you doing? Um, today on Underground Music Production uh, Facebook group, we were discussing um, a little program called Chord Works made by Grant Nelson a few years ago. Um, a few people didn't seem to be aware of it or what it did, so I thought I'd make this very short video um, just explaining it. Um, some people may find it handy, some people might not. It's not intended to replace a musician, but um, if you struggle with writing chord protect uh, progressions or inspiration um, this may be helpful or it may not um, I know there's chord MIDI plugins and stuff in a lot of doors nowadays but um thought it might be worth doing this uh, couldn't seem to find any other videos on it on, on, on the web so um, a quick demonstration of, of, of how it works um, so I've got a basic uh, drum uh, beat that I've just whipped up rather quickly it just consists of a 909 kit and a drummer track in Logic. Um, let's just give that a quick spin. There we go, just a simple one bar loop um, for the purposes of this. Um, and you'll see on this track which is called fat 79 i have loaded an es exs24 sampler so let me just open that for a moment um, and once you've installed chord works and put the files in the right place what you should be able to do is drop down your usual menu go to factory and right at the bottom there you've got chord works now what we have here is um two banks um uh, one that says exs24 one that says patterns um, the patterns are Rex files, they're pre-designed chord progressions that you can just drop straight into a track, um, could be useful for inspiration. Um, and in the EXS24 section we have two subsections, by key and by style. So if you're doing a remix with, uh, with, a, with a full vocal and you know the key of the song, you could select that key. Um, or even if you're doing something straight from scratch and you're not sure what key you want to work in um, you can choose something by style and maybe work around that um, so what I've done for the purposes of this is I've just selected a style FAT79 let me just close that for the moment and you can see here FAT79 I've actually recorded in some media already just to save some time but if I hit a couple of keys you'll get an idea There we go. So that's literally one finger playing on my keyboard and it's giving nice lush chords with the roads. Um, I believe all the samples supplied with chord works um, for this part are, are, are roads. Um, you've got um, several different sampler patches involved. You don't have to have logic to use this. Let me just bring down the folder. So you've got EXS24 for logic, you've got Halion, you've got Contact. Um, NNXT, which I think is Reason. Um, so plenty of opportunity there to use um, to use any of those. Just pull that back out of the way again. So anyway, what I've done is I've recorded a quick um, two-bar chord progression. I'm only going to play a bar of it just to give you an idea of, of, of what I've done. Um, let's just play that. Actually, if I just select Logic again, there we go. There we go, just, you know, very basic, purely just for the, the, the purposes of this. Um, so, you've got a, uh, a track with your MIDI recorded on it and it's playing the chords. Okay, that's all very well if you want to use a Rhodes, but say you wanted to use a completely different instrument, say you wanted to use a grand piano or a synth of some sort. Um, the notes that I've played are only one note, because I only hit one note on the keyboard, so how do you get those chords to play another instrument? This may sound a little long-winded, but at, uh, at times I've actually found this very useful. In the manual, Grant has supplied a chart that matches each note that you've hit on the keyboard to the full chord name. So let me just bring that in for you. So we've got, see, Styles, Fat79. We can see all the keys are marked out with each separate 
chord name. Um, and if you did it by key, you'd have the keys up here as well. So, you know, a huge amount of work must have gone into this. So there we are, Styles Fat 79. And I know that the first key that I played was uh, CM79 alternative. So I guess that's a C major 7 over 9 alternative chord. Okay, probably doesn't mean anything to you. Let me just get rid of that again. So, if we go to uh, the MIDI bank, we can see they're all listed by key. So if we go to C, we should find CM 7 over 9 alternative. Uh, there we go, that's the one. So literally, you just gr drag that into your project window on a new instrument track, which you can see. Just select logic again. I've actually done that for each of the notes in the one bar section on this new Steinway grand piano track. And if I just so uh, take that off solo. You will find when you drag the MIDI in, obviously the pattern and the length of the notes aren't going to match what you played. So you have to do a little bit of jiggling about and lining up. But the end result is this. Of course I can now, because it's MIDI, I can change that to pretty much any instrument that I want. Let me just uh, let's uh, just choose a random one. There we go. So we've gone from playing a one note on the keyboard, playing a Rhodes chord to any instrument that you want, following the same chord progression. Um, the great thing is as well then, because it's MIDI. You could actually change the voicings on these as well, so you could you can just move my notes about. So um, there you go. That's uh, Grant Nelson's chord works. Um, some people may find it useful. Some people might find it too long-winded. Um, I don't think it was ever intended to replace a musician, but hopefully it may inspire or inject some uh, more complex musicianship into your writing. I um, hope that helps you all and. Uh, Thank you very much for listening.